I prefer soft, yummy, cushy things on my behind, <sighs> not hard metal things like you. I have something soft and hard for you. Keep that to yourself, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks against up Corbin. I'm Monty Rotnam. Checks out. And <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter from all juicy content. It is 5.30 in the morning here in sunny Southern California. It's true. It is. Uh, it's just another day of sun. Uh, and you know why you're here. Yep, to watch us pole dance. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but the highly awaited new Mani Ratnam epic. Uh, let's read this. Forgive mispronunciation in advance. Uh, Puni and Selvin. Part one. Part Damn one. Teaser. Uh, and it's a A.R. Rahman musical. Uh, it also has, I do believe, uh, Ashwarya Rai. And uh, is it Vikram in it as well? Vikram! Vikram! Yeah, Vikram. That's such a great workout song, that oh, do you title track. It? Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, and so this is apparently, um, I don't maybe maybe Johnny knows about it. Um, it's a, one of the biggest, like, Indian, like, novels. Ah, uh, she probably would. Uh, yeah, and she's, so sleep she's sleeping. It's very well known. Yeah. A lot of people equate it to, like, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones style of. Cool. Uh, in, but Indian, obviously, um, and so it's. And I, I think somebody said this is co this film costs like four to five hundred. How do you say that word? Crore. Yeah, C R O R E. They say, they say it better. They, they say, always crore. Of course, because they have they have sounds that we don't make, and your mom has sounds we don't make as well. That's true. Crore. Yeah, it's so funny whenever crore. I try to pr whenever I try to pronounce something, and Johnny will laugh at me. You just call me white boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gringo. It's true. Except she's not Spanish. It amaz It just it amazes me. Like if you hear, I'll ask her to sometimes say either both Bengali, but especially the Hindi alphabet. Mm. And it's amazing how many things English speaking people, when you hear them say it, so many things sound similar, but they're not. They're they're clearly different, but not to us Dumbos. Idiots. Yeah. Anyways, let's just get into this bad boy. Another oh. epic on the way. Seems like we. Have and did you mention our Nunbar? Yes, our Nunbar. Yeah. Uh, A.R. Rahman is the is, is, is yeah yeah yeah. So him and Mani Ratnam have made some of the best music in Indian cinema. In yep. My opinion. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Think, well, that looks quite large. I think I think the expectation is uh, you're gonna get an adrenaline rush, kids. <laughs> that, that looked pretty freaking epic. Uh, it definitely uh, looked like what they were saying, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings style yeah. in terms of like everybody's on horses. Like there's a bunch of like almost not middle maybe medieval because obviously that wouldn't be right Indian. Um, but like that that style of of story. Yeah, it's on. stylistically that, but it doesn't remind me of anything per se, other than outside. Uh, of, it uh, kind of reminds me of Bahubali, but a lot more grounded than yeah. Bahubali, like in in the real world, yeah. as opposed to the fantasy world. Great, great music too. I mean, what a shock. Um, uh, also, how I know Money Ratnam 
from small, intimate, kind of almost right. like lovish kind of stories, right? right. Uh, obviously, they have a lot of complexities and, and but we, deeply we, human yeah. stories. And we know, and granted, we've just touched and scratched the surface, but I agree. Like in his resume, is there anything approximating not necessarily the scale, but the genre? Yeah, the the big massive epic. Yeah, uh, I I think I have heard people say that this has been a passion project for him mm. for a long time. Cool. He just been, he he knew the technology either wasn't there or the the money wasn't there at certain times. Sure. In his career. Sure. Uh, but apparently, uh, and apparently, almost all Indians know about this story itself, and that's actually a good thing. Obviously, it, it, doing doing big epics is 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 its own kind of beast right yeah and so that's its own kind of storytelling that that takes its own kind of skill because there's so many different things that you need to work on but you always need to have that human element behind it always so it's it's good that there's a director who knows how to do get to that good human element correct love stories and i is ashwarya rai his muse because i feel like she's been in a how, lot of his stuff how could she not be <laughs> how, how could you not i mean She's a beautiful woman. She's she's aging beautifully, and she's a, a, a very talented actress. So yeah, a, one clearly thing, one thing that is cool. This at least the trailer came out on tips. Mm -hmm. uh, they're always good with uh, releasing copyright claims. So I, maybe I, who knows if they will with if and the timing. Thank you for releasing this when you said you would. Yes, yes, yes. it's such a help. We got. Uh, Burned by, I think it was uh, Shamshara. <laughs> it was. Uh, YRF said they were going to release it and then was like, I, no, I was telling up. that. I was telling that story last night to my friend Mickey because I was explaining we had gone to a movie last night and, and I was explaining, you know, he's still learning about what we're doing on the channel and amazed at translating those stupid Hindu babies. Movies. Yeah, like my grandma said, translating the Hindu movies. But uh, I explained that that had happened. And that, that is, it is rare, but, and thankfully it, it could have been a lot later, like the times we've done stuff at two in the morning, but yeah. you show up at 1130 and you look down and you're ready to go and it says, yeah, sorry, psych, 45 more minutes. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for something. Somebody sent me something about um, something that A.R. Rahman did for this in terms of, he looked up like ancient old instruments from oh. Tamil at the, this time period. Yeah, that, and he like either got some made or went somewhere and found them and bought them, mm. so he could incorporate them, them into the music. Which That's would be awesome. great to talk to him about. Uh, obviously, again, I, would... I wonder. Sorry, it just made me think of. Remember when we when we first uh, were getting ready to interview. Ostaji Zakir Hussein, I, I contacted Pedro A. Ostash and said, have you ever worked with him? And he's like, no, but everybody knows Ustaji. He says, I wish I've, I've worked with him. I want, would not surprise me if he's worked with Air Rahman and maybe if he's, I'd have to go check, but because um, he's the kind of person that you reach out to for that when you're trying to find an ancient instrument uh -huh. that nobody else can play or would make to sound like it. I've told you the gladiator story. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he that doesn't surprise me that A.R. Rahman would do that. And, and this looks like it's going to be an absolute romp of a great movie. And I, there was only just one or two times that I could actually see CGI in here. So uh, hats off to, I'm sure it's taken them a long time to actually get to this place yeah because obviously in such a massive scale yeah um but it it looks like or or maybe a lot of it's practical maybe they didn't do a ton of cgi um but man this is gonna have some epic fight scenes this is gonna have <laughs> look at that look at that's that. a great great look at that. shot at, at a minute one they're on a beach it's got yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be game of thrones in terms of I, what what you want is you want to blend, uh, and I know you're gonna. I'm not saying this is game, whatever. You're gonna think what you want. Uh, <laughs> uh, I I want like the intimacy of the first couple seasons of the character development of Game of Thrones, with also the epicness of the battles of the later scenes of Game of Thrones. Because that's yeah. like one of the only good things about the last season of the Game of Thrones was the the epic fight scenes that they that they did and that seems to be all that they cared about um but if you want to well, kind like, of marry those and maybe we'll get i mean if they follow the trend we should see a starbucks cup somewhere <laughs> we should 
<laughs> um, but yeah, it's a, it's kind of, it's exciting that it's Monty Rotnam. Yeah, because he's such a good director. It's just so interesting because he's not no. I don't believe you guys. Once again, let me know. He's not known for these big, massive epics. He's known for obviously he's a I mean, he, he well can do renowned director, right? And, and he does he can do big historical things, that, but but not not like the epics that we know of. And I'm not saying it seems like we've for got, all we know he's done ten, and you're going to tell us guys he's. It seems like we've gotten ten epics this year. Yeah, or, it's, or it's or the year of the to, epics. Do you think that is because most of these might have released in the past two years, but they were waiting? Probably, and I think it's also the fact that they they are finally, like you said, if this was a passion project for him, and this is a story with a lot of directors who have a concept, but they wait because they either need the money or the technology doesn't exist yet. And so when they finally have both, they do it. And I think we're at a place, obviously we've talked about this all year long, where there isn't a, a lag at all. India is right on the cusp of, 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 what's go- of the VFX, man. They're they're just I'm so excited to to show people not just the quality of the artistry that we've seen in the storytelling and the acting, but now like when you show people RRR, you're they're they're really impressed with they had no idea that the visual effects in India were up to par with everything else going on globally. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to this. It's it's and you guys can tell us because we are ignorant to the story and it's legend how much did you guys see and maybe even get the chills seeing because you saw some things you recognize from this story we would have no clue we're coming into this completely blind yeah also once again we we haven't seen any vikram film but he looked really good in this he looked like he yeah looked like he was gonna let his beast out yep uh Shwarya looked gorgeous as always uh one of the most striking women in uh, in all of cinema. Yep. Uh, such a such a good teaser. Uh, I don't, when does it say it's coming out? Does, does, does it say? I didn't uh, see a uh, release date in theaters on oh, September, September 30th. 30th. Great. Uh, 2022. Uh, when is that in relationship to Brahmastra? Brahmastra, I think, is like the same month. The same month, but I think, but middle of early, the month earlier, right? Like by a week or two. Oh, it's September 9th. Okay, yeah, that's, that's great. A, that's a big month. That is, that a, is big a big month. But that gives that a couple weeks, which it's a. Oh, I what I saw last night with my friend Mickey. He huge Top Gun fan. He's seen Top Gun like fifty times. So I took him. He had not yet seen Maverick. Oh, really? And not only was it fun, it's my third time seeing it. The theater was three quarters full, and that thing's been out for a month. Yeah. Yeah, it's just people are. How can you not? It's it's a really enjoyable film, but. It, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the trailer uh, or the teaser, and uh, what uh, what any information that we need to know that yeah. is not obviously giving any way any spoilers. Thank you. Please let us know down below. Just-